All right, here is piel de sapo. Piel de sapo. It's uh, Spanish for skin of the toad, as you can tell by the rough skin on it. Um, it's uh, primarily used for cider uh, and cider production uh, in Spain, uh, hence the, the Spanish name. Uh, it's also pretty good for eating. Um, usually, uh, it, this thing ripens in you know mid September. It's November first day, but it does not feel like it's overripe. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, still, oh yeah, that's, that's not overripe at all. Yeah, so it's November 1st, definitely ripened sometime in October in central New York. Nice flavor, you can see why they use it for cider, I had so much dynamic flavor. The flesh is very firm, and the skin's not tough at all. Um, anyway. This is um, very nice, you know, eating apple on top of a cider apple. It is fire blight susceptible, so it's something to watch out for. But it's a very unique looking apple. It's got a fun name, Skin of the Toad, a Biel de Sapo, and also pretty, pretty tasty for eating. Mm.